In this quick video, I'm going to explain exactly how our Miami-Dade County approved all-in-one synthetic roofing underlayment and radiant barrier work inside a metal or a tile roofing system. First, let me ask you a simple question. If you could get a big tree to provide shade for your home or building, would you take it? Of course you would, because you know that a tree will make the home or building more comfortable and energy efficient. And the reason is a tree will help stop the radiant heat. Think about this. Have you ever had to run your AC on a 65 degree sunny day? Now you'd think you wouldn't have to because it's actually cooler outside than what you're trying to keep the building, but that's not the case. This is because of radiant heat. It's not the light that's causing this, it's the radiant heat coming in the walls, the windows, and through the roof. It heats up the house or building just like a car parked in the sun. And remember, radiant heat is the invisible part of the light spectrum. You can feel it, but you can't see it. I always tell people your house or building is just a big box sitting in the sun, and you get a disproportionate amount of heat coming through the top of the box. When you install a radiant barrier in the roofing system, under the roof, and above the, the roofing deck, you're going to eliminate virtually all that radiant heat coming through the roof. This is why it's so effective, especially on one-story homes or one-story buildings in hot and sunny climates. It virtually eliminates all the radiant heat. It's basically like a cloudy day for the roof part of your structure. Specifically, this is how it works. The sun is going to heat up the roof. In order for that heat to transfer across this airspace, it has to convert to radiant heat. Now, radiant heat is either absorbed or reflected. With traditional roofing underlayment, virtually all of that radiant heat is absorbed by the underlayment, and that heat is transferred into the roof deck and into the structure below. When you install a radiant barrier underlayment, we own it, because the next layer it's going to hit is a pure aluminum surface that's going to reflect 97% of the radiant heat. Now the roof deck and everything below it is basically in the shade. And when I say shade, once again, I'm talking about from the heat, not necessarily the light. The result is the roof deck is typically 20 to 40 degrees cooler than with a roof without a radiant barrier. That's a lot of heat that you're preventing from ever entering the structure. You can test this yourself. Get a free sample at roofingfoil.com. Then get a couple of identical objects like bricks or some small pieces of wood. Lay them out in your yard and cover one of them with the roofing underlayment foil side up on a sunny day. After about an hour, check the difference. You should easily be able to feel the difference in temperatures. Or if you have an infrared thermometer, you can quantify the difference. This is the exact same effect that the radiant barrier underlayment has on your roof deck below a roof. Remember, once again, it's the heat we are reflecting, not the light. Installing a radiant barrier is the fastest growing trend in metal and tile roofing. Eventually, every roof will have it. It's so simple and you only get one opportunity to do it right. Visit roofingfoil.com and get your free sample kit today. And remember, the roofing foil radiant barrier underlayment is Miami-Dade County approved. It's been put to the strictest test for any roofing underlayment. For any more information, visit roofingfoil.com and be sure to ask about our special discounts for roofing contractors.